place he wants me to go is in Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country episode 7 breakdown. We're going to look into everything that was in this seventh episode of Lovecraft Country named I Am. Uh, that was the title of this episode. Uh, there was a bit more in this episode to break down than in the last episode. A bit more Easter egg, so to say, but also maybe some scenes that are fun to dig into. So we're going to look into that right now. For the people watching that are new to our channel, we do recaps, breakdowns, and uh, well, stuff like this each week. So if you're interested in that and want to stay up to date on Left Coast Country, but also other series and movies, of course, uh, subscribe to our channel. Guys, we're going to dig into it. First, we're going to take a look at the genre of this episode, because each week, Lovecraft Country, of course, has a different genre for each episode. Each time they build it on a different genre. Um, this week was, well, clearly science fiction kind of theme, but I was mm -hmm. digging into it a bit. And it's, uh, to be specific, the genre of this episode is Afrofuturism. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Are you aware of the, the genre Afrofuturism? Well, Black Panther. Exactly, exactly. I wasn't aware of the term, but Black and Panther. I of, of Grace Jones somehow, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What's well, this for a cool uh, image? Yeah, yeah really right? cool. I love I'm it. Sure Does it remind you, does, does it remind you of Grace Jones? Yeah, exactly. I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, this is the, the, the genre. Uh, Black Panther is, is also... Uh, Afrofuturism, and well, well, you already can guess it. It's central to this this narrative form is uh, people of African descent, and this genre is often about questions like, what if slavery never happened? What if Africa wasn't colonized? So yeah, that's a very very important theme there. It's a celebration of black potential and a mourning for what could have been. So that's yeah. a very central with this uh, genre yeah. apparently. Uh, well, you already named some movies. For the people watching, if you have more good examples of Afrofuturism uh, movies or series, I'm really interested to hear more about it. So let us know in the comments. Yeah, then. yeah me too. I, have, uh, I also would like to see more. Quite unknown yeah. yet. Here we see, of course, Wakanda. Yeah, Chadwick. Wakanda power. No. Some uh, other thing that I wanted to uh, point out and to maybe uh, discuss a bit on is that we, uh, well, get a very strong hint that uh, Letty might be <laughs> pregnant. We see, of course, this, uh, this scene here in the lodge. This yeah, nightmare scene much. from her. Yeah, she holds her hands to her stomach. She's shocked, uh, realizing something, as it seems. Later on, little joke of uh, Ruby, of course. So, yeah, it's, it sure seems like she's, uh, she's pre pregnant. Must be, right? Oh, no. yeah, that was, that was really clear for me that, that she yeah. was pregnant, yeah. Maybe she otherwise put it in. Yeah, and, but didn't uh, you guys also think that uh, because it's a horror, a bit of a horror show, when when a lady is pregnant, I was always and the good lady is pregnant. I was always thinking she is like she's fucked because they they put some demon in her or something. Well, that's what I wanted. That's, that's what I wanted to discuss about with you, bit. Yeah. We know, of course, that Christina. Uh, it's all about. It says that it's about Ruby's family. You know, that Christina's after something. So I wouldn't be surprised if this yeah. child. Which of course it also has the brave right genes in it. If it yeah. sticks out, yeah. Yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. somehow essential to yeah. uh, to the to the end, so to say. Yes, and in this scene, she was burning, huh? Yes, in she this nightmare. Burning. I, yeah. I think I, I think I know, guys. So, I think this is adding a Skywalker. <laughs> the <laughs> Turn to the dark side. Exactly. <laughs> it kills uh, them all. Yeah. Yeah, I think the. Yeah, that 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 is going to be really crucial in the end. Yeah, what kind of scene, uh, what kind of birth, and what's coming out of the belly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you think, Swan? You think we will see it already? Because there's only three more episodes, not a season. And and oh. and we don't know if they got, there's come a second season, but they can jump think, in time. Yeah, they no. can jump. Yeah, they can do anything. Of course, in the show. Yeah. It's a bit. Yeah. It seems a bit soon, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's see what happens. But that's. I think I do also feel like. That is, it is somehow important, at least to the plot, yeah, this, this yeah. child. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. But yeah, okay, so we have that. Um, we have in a conversation between Tick and Letty, uh, Tick says that how he thinks that her mother is the only one who survived the riots in Tulsa. Of course, we already touched on this in an earlier episode, the Tulsa uh, race massacre. Uh, but to repeat what, what it was, the Tulsa race massacre was a riot in 1921 where mobs of white residents attacked black residents 
and business of the Greenwood district in Tulsa, destroying 35 square blocks of the district. And it led almost to uh, well, 7,000 wounded and at least 36 dead, though they estimate that there were many more. Way that more, yeah. 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 So yeah, that was the Tulsa riots uh, here, a bit background information on that. Then we have this uh, Tick and Montrose uh, scene. Well, we already touched a bit on it in our review uh, and our uh, recap. I think this was a great and powerful scene. Great acting by Michael K. Williams. What I really yeah. liked, what I found, well, this Michael K. Williams, he really, in the in the beginning was like, because he's a very respected actor. In the first episodes, I was like, yeah, okay, but he was not <laughs> doing <Why>? much. <laughs> but it's yeah. especially the last episodes, you see how much uh capacity uh, he has as an as an as an actor because i found it so great when he was he threw his shirt off yeah it's a sort of machoism sign like uh when 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 tick call him out uh, he said i am still with your goddamn daddy and you respect me yeah. and yeah. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. It. yeah or it was like it was a combination of uh, vulnerability as well yeah yeah like from uh, yeah this is what i am uh you know uh, this is see me naked uh, in my uh, in my uh, weakest hour uh, weakest moment maybe he felt like a, a bit this way uh, but I'm still your dad yeah. also his true self uh, yeah exactly yeah. Um, but yeah. I think that was also well with his acting it was his fr he saw his vulnerability but he wanted to over over go over his uh, vulnerability so to say by putting his so I felt like he was trying to get himself over the point of vulnerability and show also his yeah. much side and like i'm still your father and and so it was a mix of things i think a mix of emotions but there which i really felt did, yeah. did, did you also feel buzz that uh, we talked about the, the the acting of tick we saw it very good in the, the yeah. korean episode the same things that he yeah. can do with his face also yeah. this actor has yeah. yeah, that's the thing because you said in the beginning you you weren't you couldn't be so impressed with with uh, the, uh, Michael uh, uh, K Williams, yeah. K Williams, uh, because he didn't have so much to do yet. Hey. But I I I saw him. In, I don't know what I, I was always a fan of him because I saw him in I think another show, but I forgot the name of in another movie. But when they uh, see it, yeah, that, he was very impressive in that. But uh, before that, even like uh, I think ten years ago or something, I saw him for the oh, first time. Okay, and he always had this. Thing with his face that he doesn't need to talk so much but he can can show you emotions and he's always very good in the role that he also plays now uh, especially in the beginning when they found him of course at the, at the lodge that's struggling in his face you can really yeah, show that yeah, the, the, yeah. the doubt the the man yeah. i'm weak i don't know what to do because i i'm not yeah. weak vulnerable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 if you have to order all these uh victims of diversity yeah uh, of of not of, of like inequality actually um well for me he felt he felt if he, he's feeling for me like he's having uh he's in he's in the the most lonely corner yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the other, the, ah, the other know, guys. all have companions and he's more or less yeah. on his own yeah yeah, yeah. He played he's, this he's, 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 Right. Yeah, and even his family is 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 not accepting him, and, mm -hmm. and he has to hide for his who he, who he is. And yeah, um, yeah, yeah but, I, I also maybe feel most most for him. Yeah, though he's the, maybe the, the the least sympathetic because he is he has a shield f for himself. But I, uh, I I really feel for the guy because he's yeah. so much struggling and so alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Twelve Years of Slave. You said, cool. yeah, no, I the most impressive I saw. Him, uh, do you know the series The Night Off with John no. Turturro? Uh, it's a show on, uh, I think, HBO. Uh, whatever. Very impressive. When he, he plays there, uh, a pres uh, a locked up uh, uh, yeah, criminal, whatever you want to call it. But um, and he also yeah. has, he has to be really tough there. And also, it's a lot with the fucking mimic of the face. It's very impressive. Yeah. And also, Twelve Years a Slave, I think it was a scene with him crying, but I'm not sure if it, if, if, if it was that I saw him crying in that movie or somewhere else, but also... Yeah, he's, he's a very talented actor. He also won, uh, won three Emmys. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He really shows shows here his, uh, his capabilities. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was a great, impressive scene. Also, the acting by, of Tick, by the way, I think was was good, especially when, when he went downstairs and he was standing there. And, yeah, also good. Uh, with his emotions and frustrations also realizing uh, or thinking Confused. that he realized. 
yeah, confused yeah. about what what was actually happened in his youth and there was a whole, whole thinking of if his childhood and his raising got turned upside down more or less yeah, he, yeah. He, he yeah. Feel, yeah. feel for him there and in my yeah. opinion he made the wrong conclusions but uh, i think so too i think so too yeah yeah yeah, yeah true because he concluded that uh, that the uh, the reason his father was uh, beating him up or uh, kicking his ass um, and saying that he has uh, that he should not be weak, uh, yeah, he put it now back on him or uh, like it was always was, about him. He thinks yeah, yeah. and he was yeah. putting it on homosexuality more or less. And I found that really like uh, yeah, he was taking there the wrong conclusion. I think yeah. Um, he wanted to prevent maybe his. He, he was there struggling as a father with his uh, identity and exactly, um, yeah, exactly. And 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 Tick Tick took it now as if he wanted to prevent that he would become a homosexual or something. I almost got yeah, yeah or it, even maybe trying to that, that it maybe was even uh, pedophily a little bit. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I that know, that I didn't get. No, uh, neither. Yeah, no. No, I think Tick, Tick, uh, I think Tick uh, in this scene got it more like the selfish man. It was always about him. That's that's also like the last sentence he said or something. Yeah. yeah. Word. And I think actually, of course, the, the reason why he did it, I think, was and what Sven says, like he was struggling with his own, like yeah, to, being able to be himself. But I think also yeah. he was trying to find a way for his son not to become gay because, of course, you can't do that. But more like I need to toughen you up to prepare you for the world. Because I know how difficult the world can be. Maybe that sense I felt a bit. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Makes no, sense. Yeah. Yeah. While being maybe not being able to handle it himself. You know, that's also yeah. obvious, of course. But yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, but I agree with you, Sven, that in the end, uh, maybe Tick drew a bit wrong conclusions that yeah, that yeah. it was all for himself, that it was that he was only thinking about himself. Well, uh, clearly he was very confused and uh, probably had a lot of inner demons to fight with, yeah. and took that maybe sometimes also out on on Tick. But I think there yeah. was also yeah. other reasons. Drinking and Tick, yeah. 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 yeah, and it was also a generation thing, and yeah. and, and, and what it also came out that that. It goes on from generation to generation, but what, what, that's what we already discussed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that actually his son is thinking the same uh, and doing yeah. acting the same a bit as his father's yeah, doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nope. yeah. So, yeah, okay. Uh, interesting scene uh, that was. Then we have this next scene. Uh, this is a scene uh, with Tick and Ethel. Uh, is her name, I believe. When yeah. Tick, vis yeah, this is when Tick visits uh, his cousins, uh, old friends. And he sees on they one of the photos. They eat mac and cheese. And you guys yeah. weren't hungry. I saw, I thought this woman for sure knows really good how to cook and all this food. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't fuck, I'm hungry, to do it, I have to say. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. You, you guys clearly did. <laughs> I, I think like I probably like, oh, <laughs> But yeah. yeah, so okay, so they have these photos, and he sees, of course, that on the photo. What, what did you think? Was this photo on the left? Was it her, his mother or or uh, the cousin? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. No, me neither. Well, it's not really. It became, became not really clear. I think. On the left or on the right? Yeah, and on the on the oh. left because uh, the 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 friends. But that uh, looks. The friend of the cousin said, "Like you, yeah. you uh, remember you uh, recognize this one, but it can be mm. the cousin or the mother. I'm not sure." Yeah. The strange thing is that the, the two looks like an A here, actually, on her arm, that mark. Yeah. And, and if you saw it on, uh, especially when you go one frame back, you went no. Oh. No. Did I go further one or? Oh, yeah, this is what I had. Yeah. Yeah, it looked a bit the first time. Yeah, when it's more clear, it looked like an A. I thought then. On his back, it looks like something else, but I don't know if it means something. But yeah, that's the question: What does this mean? Uh, it's probably connected to to the brave white thing, like we already talked about. Yeah, I think they. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it, 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 uh, of course, the, 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 sign, the sign is 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 meant to be the same. I think they are look a bit different, but the, I think the, the the they want to tell you it's the same. Yeah, then they have. Both they're both decents from from the brave white family. Yeah, yeah. But was that what does it mean? Yeah, good question. We will see. But at least yeah. we know it's, it's important and uh, how it will turn out to be. That's the do question. you guys 
do you guys think that they uh, that the woman uh, didn't lie at all, but that she didn't know? Do you think the book of names is still in their family somewhere in that house, or? Yeah, it's most likely. I do think. Yeah. I, I don't know if she lied. Maybe she. Re I think she really thought so. Actually, that, yeah, that's that what it, I mean. Or, or, but she said, of course, the whites burn it all. So maybe the whites already yeah. took it then. Maybe. Yeah. And Could be, but I, I, I think she yeah. will still be there. Then we have this scene, guys. We already <laughs> talked about it uh, before when we saw, of course, the 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 potion. The potion. We were already discussing, like, hey, how does it actually work? Does it mean that these people, like Dell, are is dead then, or what's the yeah. mechanics of this potion? Well, in this episode, we got it explained. It is exactly uh, what we talked about. Uh, Christina confirmed that she takes the blood and she turns it into a potion, and with this potion, they, people can transform into the well into the shape of of the the people. That also means that that it's not very unlikely that we will maybe see more shape shifters in the upcoming episodes. I was just thinking myself because we have been discussing a couple of times uh, if we might see George back, maybe. We see George back, but it's not really George. It's just his, uh, it's outside. Could happen. I'm not sure if there's anything uh, left from George. Where, where was George killed again? He was shot, right? So he was not torn to pieces. So there could be still blood from him. Yeah, he was shot. Yeah. Next to the car. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so Dell is dead. Uh, yeah. We don't know how. No. We don't know how, no. Not sure no. if that's important. If we will get a question, maybe it's not important at all and we won't get a question to it. Christina at least said that she was not involved in it, but... Yeah, okay. should we trust her? <laughs> yeah, that's the question. What I also got a bit of vibes in this scene is that we might see, we will see uh, Christina and Ruby uh, uh, getting into a relationship. Ah... Yeah, it's a good thinking, maybe. Yeah, yeah because she said, right. uh, "I can help you," and because she said, "the the, the words were mine." Everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, and then Ruby says, "I want from now on only the truth." From now, that seems like yeah. they're building something there. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. It would, fit, it would fit, of course, with all the thematics in this uh, in this series. If we uh, be a very yeah. hopefully. A messed up relationship because of the mess after every sex. Yeah. <laughs> I found it by the way. I, f I I was laughing with with that one one line that uh, I don't know how she phrased it, but something like uh, "You've been fucking me uh, uh, oh, yeah. as a man" or something. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> you think about it. It's just super messed. Up. It's super messed up. But I, Anna didn't watch every episode with me, so she watched the yesterday this one with me again, and I told her what why she was so upset, and she was like. What the fuck happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she fucked while she was in another dude's body. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> nice. Good show, she says. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, but yeah, so that's uh, that's that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, we have here Hippolyta driving uh, on her way to the observatory. We had a French uh, song on the radio. This is the song uh, Piel Canela by oh. Josephine Baker. Yes. Actually. And this is, of course, the woman that we will see later in the episode as well. In this scene, we also see her passing a woman on a motorbike. This woman is Bessie Stingfield, yeah. who was the first black woman to ride a motorcycle across the United States solo. It was also during this trip that she encountered a lot of uh, discrimination. Yeah, also, by the way, uh, nice to note that she was also working as a dispatch rider in, uh, during the World War II. Uh -huh. With Bessie. Oh, oh wow. Uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, it's yeah. impressive. It was, uh, it was a nice scene. I, I was cool, waiting. Yeah. This scene, I was waiting. Like, okay, what's going to happen now? She's going to get an accident. But this scene was yeah. purely put in some Easter eggs. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really thought this woman, this, this black woman, would turn into some scary person that yeah, yeah, will exactly. hunt the best of yourself. Of, uh, yeah. Will hunt very polite, but uh, yeah, yeah, no. It's actually a nice uh, reference. No, nothing happened. I knew that it must have been an Easter egg. Yeah. Ah, cool. <laughs> yeah. This is the real one. Yeah, nice. this is the real one. Yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and then we had, of course, the observatory where Hippolyta arrives. Um, we might suppose that this is the Horatio Winthrop observatory that we uh, know from episode five, because we, of course, in episode five, had Cam Captain Lancaster talking with two other men in his well, office, and they were talking about the observatory and how they tried to convince the sheriff that it was in its best interest to protect the observatory from possible vandals. And then when later on, when the two cops in this episode arrive, they talk about how La Lancaster appreciated them to keep an eye at this place. So that's already, uh, again, yeah. connecting 
listening to what we saw a couple of episodes again. I do like that uh, that they already built in little puzzle pieces earlier in the episodes yeah. and then later on expand on it. Yeah. And that kind of, kind of stuff fun. Then we had over here this scene with Bobo. Uh, again, this is the kids playing cards. And this boy over here asks, uh, where is, when does Bobo comes back, come back? Yeah. We, of course, talked about Bobo in a couple of episodes. We heard about him before. Bobo being the nickname for Emmett Till, the boy that got, uh, well, slaughtered, uh, uh, Lynch. brutally yeah. lynched by, uh, well, also and unfairly by uh, uh, some white uh, 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 people. And, well, I found this quite, well, brutal because, of course, the question was, when when will we come back? So we can yeah. know now that he's now exactly now on his way or over there and he will probably never no. come back anymore. No. That's no. quite uh, quite sad. Yes, well, yeah. Then we right. had this character with the huge uh, afro. Uh, she. Suit. <laughs> what? It's like a cheap ripoff of Iron Man, guys. Come I on. I be more of Tron, but uh, I, you don't, didn't like it. I was not too. I like too, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you like it. I'm, I'm in between. Like the face, the makeup, and the hair was awesome, but the suit itself, no. No, okay. Yeah, okay. Like the woman was beautiful, but the suit, nah, nah. But as we learn in the in the end credits, her name is Beyond C, yeah. uh, the, the French C. So yeah, we know uh, yeah. a little uh, wordplay they're name. doing here, Beyonce. I think it's a link to this album uh, Lemonade, maybe or not? Cool. Yeah, With, awesome. where she had this wor this world tour, this famous world tour, uh, uh, and then she also had a lot of this futuristic looks. Yeah, I remember. I kind of remember. Yeah. So yeah, and then we of course see uh, Hippolyta on her first travel from the facility, where she ends up in Paris on stage with Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker was a real life. American that abandoned her American citizenship, citizenship and moved to France. Uh, here she became an entertainer, dancer, and civil rights nice. activist, and also worked as a spy for the French resistance. I found the last part quite cool, also. Oh, really? Wow, cool. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we all. <laughs> so we also hear in one of the scenes Josephine Baker saying, uh, You should have seen my ass back at the old chauffeurs in St. Louis. I looked into it a bit, and this was apparently the bar where Josephine Baker worked as a waitress when she was 13 years old. Oh and it was also here where she met Willie Wells and married him in the same year. Uh, she also uh, ended the marriage. Wow. So uh, she had a quite a rough uh, time over there, rough, living on the streets. Time, yeah. and stuff and, uh, not an easy life she had before she moved, uh, at least. Yeah. And you hear that um, well, there are more... Uh, Afro Americans who went to to Paris to actually, well, redefine themselves to escape oh, yeah. actually their 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 yeah their country and their status and to uh, to to and in the end come back. I don't know if if Joseph and Baker came back, but for example, sure. for example, James Baldwin, who was in the first episode, oh, yeah. also moved to Paris to develop his um, personal side and his career. And mm. uh, in the end, he came back at the, with the civil rights movement. Uh, back to the states to to also contribute to the okay, cool. to the civil rights movement. That's quite cool. Yeah, I'm also not sure if yeah. Josephine Baker went 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 back. If the people watching, if you know more about Josephine Baker, please share with us. We're interested. To, uh, I'm interested to hear more. We also had in this scene, by the way, this shot, a very short snippet of a speech, and it was from the Mexican artist Frida Kahlo, if I pronounce it uh, right. Fa very famous artist. Uh, Mexican painter, uh, and she explored with her work questions of identity, post-colonialism, gender, class, and race in Mexican cool. society. Yeah, so that was uh, quite cool. We had a couple of shots of her in this uh, in this episode. Uh, nice. nice little East fair. I think what was not. Uh, yeah, this, the yeah. Yeah, she. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. Uh, yeah. yeah, now I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, uh, yeah, she's very I, I, I was, was Hippolyta not a bit flirting with her? I'm, I'm not sure. She was. Uh, there was one remark in between at some point. Might be a bit flirty. Yeah, and I don't really yeah. remember. I think she was flirting yeah. with 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 yeah. a guy, with a girl. Yeah, so she was yeah. like, uh, uh, yeah, discovering all yeah. Uh, all her borders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Then we had this scene, the scene where Hippolyta ends up with an African tribe. Well, this African tribe we learned. 
is the well we don't learn it in the series but we dig into it is the uh, the the mino mino uh, tribe if i say it correctly the uh, the european writers call it the dahomey amazons but i think uh, uh, they call themselves the the, the mino and this was an all female tribe of warriors who faced off against colonizers in africa and they made nice. their last stand against invading french soldiers that's of course what we saw in this episode we saw uh, the french uh, Legions. Uh, you also attack. know what country in Africa? Uh, Benin, if I'm right. Okay. Benin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, so there were like a, a, a last uh, village standing against the uh, French. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ruling. Could, okay. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. It's like Sparta. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the leaders of the of the the warriors uh, in this. Sorry, I actually didn't know this was uh, existing. This was possible. No. Uh, no like, yeah. Um, like Five a cool. group of female warriors yeah. uh, abandoned from uh it's like what yeah it sounds really yeah. awesome actually yeah yeah, yeah. well that's that's why why the the european writers called them the dahomey amazons of course because for there was quite some parallels with the with the amazons but i think these uh, tr this tribe is by a lot of people seen as the real amazon so to say yeah and apparently uh because it ended at some point they were they were beaten but but uh the the woman still kept uh educating their children in the ways of the tribe. So the tribe was not really there anymore, but they still kept uh, giving the the, well, cool. the fighting skills and those kind of things to their to their uh, dollars. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a yeah. uh, quite cool story. Yeah. Wow. So the, the, the leader of the warriors is Navi in this in this episode. And she is in reality, she's considered to be the last living um, Mino and she died in the 1970s. So that's wow. uh, quite a little, uh, like, cool. nice little thing. Yeah. So it's really, really short history, like uh, yeah, it goes by. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I, I'm not sure, of course. This was uh, happening then in 1800 something or so. Must have been, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the real life, then without men. What? Where, where? You say they were teaching their daughters, so there were men involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but the the, the tribe itself, just, uh, the fighting tribe. Yeah, they fought, they fought together. I'm not sure how their living situation was. Yeah. If they lived part of the year, uh, like here in this, in, this, in this episode, it seemed like that they all lived also together. It might, of course, also be that they just were this fighting tribe, but they also had men around. But I don't know. Yeah. It sounds a bit like the real life Wakanda, you know, like like bad yeah. uh, women fighting. Yeah, it's 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 also yeah. like a really like I mean, if you talk about feminism, this is what if this was happening like 200 years ago, it's almost hard to believe you know yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and that we're still now discussing this stuff yeah yeah exactly the equal pay yeah. and all that stuff they still don't get yeah. It. yeah ridiculous yeah. actually <laughs> yeah. no it was quite a quite cool uh, story uh here we see uh, uh wow. one of the real ones yeah my nice outfits also yeah wow cool yeah badasses yeah Oh, there's only one man here and he's playing the drums, I see. Okay. <laughs> the right to school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not allowed to fight, he can only play the drums. Nice. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, when Hippolyta goes into battle with French soldiers, we hear the song Fire by Mother's Finest. Yes. yes Mother's Finest. Black West. singer, female. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. That, that was a really yeah. uh, diverse band. Also yeah. in, in the I don't know them too well, so yeah, they have rock, soul, uh funk. Funk and, also, uh, yeah. Yeah, as you see a really colorful um yeah. band, whites, blacks. Yeah. I like the pants of the guy on the left. It's uh, very tight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little tight. It's uh, quite revealing. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, like, yeah. like rubber rubber plant, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too tight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so that's, yeah. that, that song. Then we have uh, this scene when Hippolyta enters uh, this, this planet together with George. She enters, of course, as uh, the character from Dee's uh, uh, comic. Uh, I lost the name now for a bit. But uh, the character from Dee's comic. And we hear, uh, when, this, uh, when they visit here, we hear a monologue. And this is a monologue by the oh, jazz wow. artist Sun Ra. Yep. Uh, from the 1974 film Space is the Place. Cold classic. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. the picture before I really loved was yeah. that the, the poet or the writer? Yeah, that's him, the, the jazz, jazz artist, as I understand. Oh, oh jazz artist. Uh, yeah. 
really cool. I think it's uh, some kind of sun, also almost like Mexican. Yeah, but more it looks a bit like also really shiny, even more like yeah. metal. Yeah, or this right? thing you like in Asia they use against when you're when you're warm. I call it yeah, 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 yeah. An Asian wire. An Asian <laughs> wire. Call it, I don't know how you call it, but <laughs> so yeah. We have that, and then we have, of course, towards the end. Uh, this is something you asked before uh, about in the review, Kun. Here it is: the shot of the book, and yeah. we see here that uh, Tick has, uh, after he traveled through the wormhole or void or whatever it is, he came back with this book called Lovecraft Country, uh, yeah. and written, as it seems, by George Freeman. So, how? When? Oh, what yeah. happens? Yeah, because I do think it's not really time traveling that they're doing in this episode. It's more like the many worlds theory, I think. So more parallel universes. So oh. in that way, it might be more like that he met George on, in a different world. And there, George, who is, of course, a writer already with the guide. In that world, he wrote the Lovecraft Country book, which, okay. of course, the series is based on a Lovecraft Country book. But it's not written by George Freeman, but by Matt Roth. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm curious what they will do with this. Yeah, but yeah, uh, me too. Do, do you have a, uh, a picture? I think you had it in the beginning of the show, uh, Buzz, before he, he checks the book out. The moment where he comes out of the hole, there's also something in the hole, something very big and, and round that I remember. I was thinking maybe there's also something that we should put our eyes on. You guys see know. something here in the back? What is this? I think it's just a blob, it's just a piece of. You mean that blue thing in the middle? Yeah, I thought it was some kind of ship or something, I thought, but maybe, or like an amulet or something, I don't know, something weird. Not, I'm not sure if it's something, but it could be. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, okay, no, leave it then. I thought maybe it's something, but yeah, we don't know. No. Right. But uh, yeah, so that's an interesting thing, I think, what we'll uh, look into. Uh, that was the ones uh, I could find in this episode. Did you have uh, anything uh, more, guys? I don't know. Mm, no, I think we, yeah. we discussed we everything. Him. Well, the, yeah. the the picture you see on the last uh, on, under the arm of the the killed policeman. Yeah, uh, there's also a comic to see. Yeah, uh, that's of course. Yeah, the problem is, of course, it's proof that that woman was there. It's written by Diana Freeman, but who's yeah. Diana Freeman? Yeah, then? that's her. That's her full name. She the, D D is, is, D. is short. Ah, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. This is, of course, yeah. a problem because this is going to make her like yeah. the number one uh, suspect. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, that was, that was uh. some of the Easter eggs and the reference, of course. We, we already digged in our review also a bit into the themes. But like, if we have to uh, say what the themes of this episode was, uh, I think it was very clear again. Well, Probably oppression of black people versus white people and uh, women versus men. Yeah. Very clear, I think. Yep. And of course, uh, the search for who you truly are. Yeah. It's, it's almost a bit like we saw before. Who are you uh, really uh, uninterrupted? That's that, yeah. that same scene a bit as, as then, uh, the same feeling. Yeah, and here, yeah, here it was, uh, I think, a bit more uh, explained that you, uh, what the impact can be of freedom if you uh, discover that. Well, it was also really good done, actually, with Ruby, as you said. Yeah, there was a different approach. Um, which one did you actually like more? Which um, episode on this theme? Because, if, yeah, you can compare them a bit. The one with Ruby and, and, yeah. and, and this one. The, yeah, this one was then more focused more on, more on feminism, and the other one was more focused on... Uh, Finding yourself a bit. and Skin color. Yeah. I think I think um, I think I like this one a, a better. Maybe not the execution. I, I didn't always find great, but I think the 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 message, especially what 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 hit me more, I think, was that scene with George, and I found that very very nicely put and very nicely done because it's it's not it's it's not about about hatred. It's not it's not about uh, it, it's it's just this man that, that didn't realize himself what he did because this, this was just how it worked for him. He's the man and he creates the life he wants and the woman has to 
fit into that. He, he never really thought about it. And I found that they really yeah. brought it nice in this episode, the, the realization with George, like in the beginning, yeah. he tried to excuse himself a bit like, yeah, but why didn't you tell me then? And, uh, and then she said, yeah, but I did. And I found that scene very, very powerful. So I, uh, yeah, I like well, it. Also, it also comes back to the first episode because I remember that she was asking yeah. if she wanted to go with him, right? And yeah. then... He did a letter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. She wants so to. She, she did ask, actually, in that sense, yeah. you know. Yeah, no. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, no, I found it. I uh, found it. Uh, so, in that way, uh, maybe I'm not sure if I like this episode per se better, but I maybe the the way they talked about this story, and maybe I liked it a bit better. Yeah. For you. Yeah, I I was, I remember I I I was charmed from the, the combination of dirt and power in the in the ruby episode yeah. uh, with 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 uh, like hiding in somebody else's body and then uh, unwrapping that skin um but i also really feel uh the the um, the journey of finding yourself uh, from Hippolyta. Yeah. So uh, I w really want to compare my life with 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 th this heavy story. But uh, if you compare a bit, like your yeah. when you're, when you're adulting and you're traveling, you kind of discover also a bit what freedom can yeah. uh, do to your soul, and uh, yeah. that you. Um, and that element was was, was more here. Uh, it was more reachable. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. So uh, I I don't choose one. I prefer. Uh, yeah. I, I think they both have really a charming side. For me. Yeah. I found that like you said, the the whole I shrunk and I shrunk and I shrunk. I found that very very beautiful. And also something I think you can. Like you said, uh, a lot of persons, people can can rec rec recognize uh, within society, within the pressure from outside, a job or work, and that we, when you're younger, you're always more free. And it's what she also said, of course. When I was young, I was this, and I and I just shrank and shrank and shrank and shrank. And I was also yeah. herself. She was also part of this. She let herself yeah. shrink, uh, yeah. but also society let her shrink and well, made yeah. her more less, more and more invisible. Yeah. To sum it up, um, um, there were th th those were good themes in this in this episode, and uh, well, yeah. we we also discussed it a bit on a review. Maybe sometimes they were better uh, communi com communicated than 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 other times. We had some discussion about it in our review, but uh, well, I think that the themes at least were very clear again what they what what they were yeah. going for. Of course, also the theme again between uh, a parent and, and child, what we saw with with, uh, with Montrose and, and Tick. Yeah, and yeah combined with sexuality, yeah. Yeah, well, and that's maybe what, like, what we got, got into our review. Like, I, I feel, of course, there's more to tell about this, 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 this themes, uh, but I feel, like you said now, Sven, we did this with Ruby. We do it now a bit again. I, I hope that we now really go into story and, and let, let the themes a bit, Bit less uh, uh, dominant. Uh, dominant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you you should prepare yourself. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's the the case, and I know but, that I probably or, I will repeat this for the upcoming weeks. But <laughs> or 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 do it like uh, the South Korean story, right? Because then yeah, then, yeah, it's, then, then it's all the way on um, yeah. on something else. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Uh, but that's uh, that. That I think is the things that we found and saw in this episode when it comes to uh, themes and the break, uh, the Easter eggs and those kind of things. Uh, it was an interesting episode. Uh, we learned uh, quite some new things again. I think, guys, that's, that's always yeah. fun. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So keep coming with the Easter eggs. The Easter eggs I really like, by the way. So I, I really would I like to this, see uh, also the story you told us now about these 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 black exactly. women. Exactly. They were so badasses. I wanna, yeah. I wanna go immediately after this. Uh, yeah, exactly. We, we learn Wikipedia, whatever. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. So, uh, for the people watching, uh, did we miss something? And let us know in the comments. And uh, also, if you have more information on the uh, information on the things we already talked about, 
we really love to hear from you uh, always. We are really happy uh, up until now with all the contributions you give us uh, on this channel. It really enriches uh, well, uh, what we know about this matter. So uh, keep it going. And um, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, we of course would like to see you become a part of our community, so to say. And uh, well, give a little like on it for us. So if you appreciate it, that's uh, appreciated by us. Uh, guys, uh, that was it for now. We will, of course, uh, also make a little reaction to the promo for next week. But we're going to do that in a separate video. We're going to end this one now and here. See you next time. Don't forget to watch our review.